Welcome to another Molly Motorsports tech presentation. Today we're going to touch on topics specifically related to installing the piston in the cylinder. In a previous segment, we've already loaded a set of our new HV385 1mm, 1mm, 2mm rings on this piston. Um, we have several options of tools available to compress the rings to, to, to insert them in the cylinder. The most basic being a thin wall adjustable sleeve type. Uh, these are readily available. Um, they will adjust to a wide range of bore sizes depending on the application you're working on, but the thin wall nature of them um, makes it a little difficult to keep the, the sleeve and piston square to the deck when you're trying to install it, and there is some setup necessary to find the proper preload and tension with the adjustable nature of the design. Uh, similarly, um, the wrinkle band or wavy style adjustable compressor is, has similar adjustability for bore sizes. Um, but the one nice advantage of this type of design, uh, unlike any of the other compressors, is that once you have the tension adjusted and the rings collapsed on the piston, um, you can actually see within the gaps that your rings are properly compressed in the grooves and the wavy nature of the design of this compressor does give it better contact to the deck in terms of keeping the piston square as you're trying to install it. Um, but like the other adjustable compressors, there is a certain degree of setup required to find the proper tension and compression for each, for each part. Uh, when possible, our preferred method is a fixed diameter tapered sleeve compressor. Um, these are certainly the, the easiest to use and they do an excellent job of compressing the rings evenly, but obvious disadvantages are they only work for a limited range of bore sizes um, um, and additionally, although most are constructed of aluminum and hard quote anodized, it is possible to damage or um, wear out the, the compression surfaces through heavy usage. And either of those issues, if present, can give you some trouble during installation. Our final step before the final assembly uh, will be lubricating the cylinder walls in our block. Um, unlike when we were installing the rings and we were careful not to use an excess of oil, there really is, isn't a limit to how much oil we can add to the cylinder wall. As we install the piston, it will naturally scrape any excess oil off the wall. And plus, as we, we go through the different cylinders, um, the engine will be turned over numerous times during assembly, whether for installing the pistons, torquing the rods, setting up the valve train, etc. So by nature of that, excess oil on the cylinder wall will be removed. Likewise, because we're going to be removing that excess oil, we do want to make sure that we have enough to begin with so that we're not starting with a, a dry cylinder wall on startup. Um, while we're here, we'll also go ahead and add a film of oil to our installation tool. And as one final check, our pin was oiled before it was installed, but we'll add a couple of drops there. And lastly, we will oil and lubricate the skirts of the pistons. Again, we're not concerned about the amount of oil that we're adding here, um, but we are focusing primarily on the skirts. The lubrication that we added for the rings should be sufficient, and we'll just make sure that we have a good even consistent film on the skirt itself. To start and aid the compression of the rings, we'll, um, it's a good rule of thumb just to make sure everything is centered to begin with. We will add our compressor. And lastly, make sure that we have protection for the crankshaft. And just one quick shot of bearing guard. In getting ready to install, we will make sure that we have the valve pockets orientated correctly. The con rod is pointed the correct direction on the crankshaft, and we'll drop it into the cylinder.
now. To install the piston into the cylinder, we're going to apply firm pressure to our ring compressor to keep it seated and square against the block. Uh, with this low drag, low friction ring set, we're only going to need light pressure to insert in, into the bore. So with a relatively gentle and smooth motion, we'll tap it into the cylinder. And that's about all there is to it. Uh, simply repeat the process for the other cylinders and your pistons will be installed. We appreciate you watching and uh, hope you'll follow us on uh, Facebook and YouTube for more informative videos.